Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back, everybody. We have a beautiful sunrise out there. Clear skies over Helena right now, 49 degrees. We have some calm wind right now, but that's going to change later on today. Same with Great Falls here. You're at 50 degrees right now, so pretty warm. And if you're on the Aurora hunt uh, for the next couple days, at least, we still are under a G1 class storm uh, warning here that it'll last through Tuesday morning, but G1 means we have KP values of between two and four, which that puts the northern lights to the north of the United States. So they'll be in Canada and maybe if you're on the high line, you might be able to see uh, a few glimmers up there, but for the most part, it's done here in the state of Montana. So if you got out on Friday and Saturday, those were the two days where we just had incredible auroras pretty much everywhere throughout the state. So temperatures across the state right now, well, we're in about the mid 50s, ranging all the way down to the mid 30s in the southwestern portion of the state near Butte. Wind is calm for most of us right now. We have some storm activity moving through northeastern portions of the state, so that's why we're a little gusty up there near Glasgow, but everybody else has calm wind. That'll change later on this afternoon when we get a strong wind developing off the Rocky Mountain front here. Notice those reds indicating some pretty strong gusts and then once we get into about the mid afternoon hours near Haver, near Great Falls could get a few stronger gusts, maybe 40, 50 miles an hour, especially to the southeast of Haver here in the later afternoon hours. A big area here of pink showing up on our future cast wind here, indicating some pretty strong gusts making their way through the central portion of the state. This is the front that makes its way through. It'll be in eastern portions of the state by tonight. They could get a few stronger gusts and some stormy weather, but wind direction will shift out of the north tomorrow and we'll have some shower activity near near Helena and Great Falls, but the wind does stay light. So radar right now, here's those few showers making their way through northeastern portions of the state, including a few lightning strikes in Canada. And then notice this little feature right here, this cloud cover making its way into eastern Washington. That is our front. We have some cloud development on the front side of that uh, frontal feature there and even some severe weather going on in the deep south right now. Mississippi, Alabama getting hit pretty hard with some severe thunderstorms. So those showers in eastern Montana move out pretty quickly throughout the morning and then we'll dry out at least until about the early afternoon hours and notice northwestern portions of the state near Cut Bank, Kalispell, we get some storm development and then we really start to explode in coverage into the mid afternoon hours. I think us here in Helena will stay mostly dry. We'll have some strong downsloping wind, which will kind of stabilize our atmosphere a little bit, but at least up near Great Falls could get a few thunderstorms rolling through this afternoon. A lot of that coverage shifts towards the east tonight, and then we'll have a little bit of redevelopment of some showers and storms on the backside of the system as it makes its way through. Great Falls, Helena, Butte, Cut Bank, Haver could all get some showers early tomorrow morning, but then by the afternoon hours, we could get a few thunderstorms developing as well, but then we'll dry out for the next few days there. So we will be warm regardless. We'll stay around 80 degrees today. We'll drop into the mid 60s tomorrow here in Helena with some shower activity, but we rise right back up into the 70s for midweek and we stay dry until the weekend. We have a little bit of a cool off as another system makes its way through with some rain and thunderstorms.